From the day they're born, Romanians are faced with minor corruption. In this case, it's the parents, since they have to lend a helping hand financially to the poorly paid doctors and nurses to ensure a pregnancy or delivery is carried out in the best possible circumstances. The same goes for the other medical services, although officially they're free of charge. Eu zic că în ziua de astăzi nu ți se mai cere, ci știi că trebuie să dai și atât, atât. Asta e sistemul la noi. Fiind ce nu știu, mulțumesc Dumnezeu, eu... When the Romanian child grows up, he or she realizes that there are a great number of services requiring an under-the-counter approach. For instance, in the public services. If you want to avoid any problems, the best thing to do is to keep the civil servant happy. Tout le temps, c'est nécessaire de, de donner quelque chose, un, un peu plus de facilité. Même pour acheter un appartement, il faut nécessaire de, de, des actes, de, de papiers, beaucoup, pour, et pour essayer de, de faire une grande entreprise, c'est encore plus difficile. And should our Romanian become a football fan, then he'll come across the shady world of crooked transfers, tax evasion and money laundering. Of course, now we're not talking about minor corruption anymore. The likable manager of Stauer Bucharest has to account for what appears to be questionable land purchases. Judging by the size of his home, he wouldn't appear to be short of a dollar or two. And this is where the biggest problem lies, the Romanian parliament. The majority of the politicians are in one way or another corrupt, says the NGO Transparency International, that keeps a close watch on corruption. We can find corruption in all political parties in Romania. I don't think uh, that we have one uh, or two uh, clean political parties and rest only with uh, uh, um, uh, corrupt persons, because that is not true. Someone who knows all about this is Monica Machovai. She became Minister of Justice at the end of 2004 and very quickly became known as a fervent opponent of corruption. However, a year ago, Machovai was dismissed. She'd refused to go along with the Romanian politicians' attempts to tone down anti-corruption legislation. We want to fight political corruption in a country with corrupt politicians because we say we have political corruption and the politicians have all the power in their hands. They change the law, uh, they adopt any measure they want, and they use these to fight against you. As Justice Minister, Machavai appointed a young, dynamic prosecutor as head of DNA, a government agency responsible for investigating high-level corruption. This time, the prosecutor really did take his job seriously, and in no time at all, charges were brought against eight members of parliament. However, the politicians struck back. De-a lungul acestor trei ani în care, în, care, în care eu conduc unitatea, au fost tentative ale legislativului de a modifica, de a modifica organizarea și structura și competența DNA, astfel încât, în primul rând, să nu mai avem competența de a cerceta parlamentari. The situation only worsened following the dismissal of the Minister of Justice. They wanted to remove these tough prosecutors and they couldn't if I was there, the anti-corruption prosecutors. And then they tried immediately after I was removed. And it was a reaction uh, from the media and public and also from the European Commission in Brussels, so they had to stop. But the DNA corruption team weren't to be sidetracked. One high-placed politician after another was summoned to their office to answer to a range of charges in corruption cases. Even the former Prime Minister Nastase was questioned. This man, who lives in a huge house with an equally sumptuous interior, was suspected of being involved in a number of fraudulent financial transactions. Another spectacular case of political corruption is that of the former Minister of Agriculture, Remes. He was filmed last autumn apparently receiving money in exchange for preferential treatment for a public contract. A second hidden camera recording of the man who'd handed over the money to the minister clearly shows that it is corruption. However, he is extremely cautious.
When part of the footage was shown on the news on Romanian television, the minister resigned. However, politicians put pressure on the station's management not to broadcast any further footage, a move that so angered the program's editor that she came to the studio to explain what had happened to the viewers. De ce îmi cer scuze pentru că nu ne putem ține de promisiune? Nu le-am dat pentru că am primit această scrisoare, deci am o notă internă primită de la președintele director general în care repetă ceea ce scrie. The memo stated that no further part of the corruption footage could be televised, and it didn't stop there. The program editor was simply moved to the sideline with nothing to do. Après cet événement, on a réorganisé le département et on m'a enlevé toute prérogative éditoriale. Mais je crois que j'ai bien fait, je ne regrette rien. Following the scandal with the Minister of Agriculture, the politicians once again targeted the anti-corruption department by restricting their legal resources. Immediately, the parliament decided to amend the criminal procedure code and not made possible this any longer. I mean, not made possible that they are being catched. So that's how they fight back. In spite of all they've been through, those fighting corruption in Romania remain confident that their efforts will bear fruit. I think it can be modified, it can be changed this mentality, because this change can be seen. The National National Anti-Corruption, in terms of critics, and so on, benefits from the support of the population, from the civil society, from the press, and the press, and the world wants to see, in fact, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, condamnări, dacă într-adevăr sunt probe pe, pe aceste persoane importante. Above all, a lot is expected from Europe, of which Romania has now been a member for more than a year. Toujours c'est l'Europe qui a poussé les dirigeants de ce pays, de la Roumanie, à faire les réformes qu'il fallait. Ils n'ont jamais fait ça sans une pression de la part de l'Europe. Donc j'espère que l'Europe jouera ce rôle bénéfique dans la question de la lutte contre la corruption.